Does body count matter? I feel like no, but to each his own. Oh, would you take back a cheater? It depends on the situation. Like, if he had no reason to cheat. Like, and I'm not saying, like, people have reasons to cheat. But, like, if shit happens, and, you know, we ain't really, like, close-knit, like how we was. Okay. What's some red flags in men that you think they should change? I would say getting opinions from their friends, their homeboys, stuff like that. And not holding themselves accountable. So you think men cheat more because they have reasons to or just because it's just wired to be like that, right? Look, women, do not give your man any small reason to cheat because they will amplify that shit a lot, man. Men are just like that, man. If you're holding out on them, it's another reason, all right? If you're, if you're fussing with him, it's another reason. If he's not getting his peace, another reason, bro. There's a lot of reasons, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that men might want to go out there do this but you know women are i hear the stories all the time women are more inclined to take you back man you actually have a greater chance of cheating and getting taken back than other things now if you got a father's a family and married don't get me wrong man there's a little bit more into it and i'm not justifying anybody going out there and cheating. what i'm saying is women are more inclined to take you back than men are if they girl cheat do you fuck me do you really want to go there Please, no, answer the question. Do you remember? Because I don't. Uh, I'll tell you. How can I be in the same house touching myself with a mm. boyfriend in the same house with me? Okay, no, Denise, Denise, I've got, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Right. Okay. Let, let's just hear what Paul's got to say. All right, babe. Babe. I love you. So why don't you touch me? When I, when I come home from work and I, and I see my girlfriend, right? When I just see her, I'm happy. That, that's love to me. That's enough for me. But at the same time, why do you feel like you need me inside of you 247 before you can feel love? I don't feel like I need you inside me 247, but I'm not wood. Okay, babe, okay babe. I'm a woman babe, babe. and I find you attractive and no, I would no, like no, to have sex with you once babe. in a while. I, I... Even if it's once a week, babe, babe, babe because babe. we don't do that. Uh, bro, bro. You, 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 you got a freak on your hands, bro. You got a freak on your hands, on your hands. And before you met her, I'm just saying, dog, before you got with her, she was for the streets. <laughs> she was for the streets. Bro, she for the streets. I'm just saying, dog. Ain't no way that drive like that. She, she, she really on national TV calling you out like this, dog. She for the streets, homie. a lot of door dashing or a lot of whore dashing what do you guys think bro <laughs> you think she getting a bag from these dudes you think she's simping out one dude had a bag of food you already know what time it was <laughs> she she getting clapped for some taco bell bro that's so messed up all right guys uh you know on today's episode of you cannot make this shit up we're gonna be talking about do bbls really smell let's just be honest like you know, can that area smell, all right? I asked this question before on my other channel, man. So I'm gonna ask this to you guys now, now that I'm digging more into it, there's more clips, there's more content about it. People with, or women with BBLs are actually talking about it, all right? So let's jump into it. Let's play a few clips and we're gonna talk about it a little bit. But for real, BBL girls, like y'all should really humble yourself because my brothers and my my man friends told me that a lot of y'all be stinking. Don't come for the messenger, I'm just saying. So right before you get BBL, the doctor makes you sign a form. It's basically like, 
in order for you to have a BBL, you have to stink for the rest of your life. And that's just something you have to give up. So yeah, I do smell. I'm just kidding. No, what the fuck? So <laughs> I did have a smell though. So the day after, the day of my surgery, I got an IV because the bitch passed out. And my pee smelled like vitamins. If you take vitamins, you know what I'm talking about. But it smelled like stronger. It was like a really strong like vitamin smell when I peed. And then after, there is a like a weird like smell, but it's from all the liquid that comes out of my body during the massages. This is the liquid. It's not blood. It's just like the liquid they inject into you to separate the fat and your like skin. Um, in the beginning, I feel like it did. I can't even describe the smell, but it's not a bad smell. But now I don't smell that anymore, and I'm good. And I wash myself. I wash my ass. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this BBL smell that I've been hearing about. A lot of y'all had that BBL smell because, let's be real, y'all just ain't baby. I've been hearing, like, a lot of women, they love, like, um, these, um, Yoni soap bars and stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, it's nothing wrong with it. But they're using it to, like they say, to make sure you don't smell down there. But I'm tripping, like... What do y'all got going on that y'all smelling down there? Um, another thing that I hear, sex and smell. Sex ain't supposed to have no smell. And if you go to your doctor and ask, he gonna tell you the same thing. So, I'm excited to help y'all. Those that are having them BBL smell issues, I'm gonna go on and help y'all out. Yeah, those BBLs be stinking. So, you guys may have seen this online that BBL smells is trending. And there are a lot of reasons for that smell, but I think that I will tell you guys a story about a girl that I dated and uh, I took her out. And she had had a BBL. Her body looked crazy good. Like she had it done right. Her whole body looked amazing. So we linked up and we went out, had a really good time. We went to a Lakers game and then went to a spot by LA Live and had some dinner, had a really good time. And so she was like, so what you trying to do? I was like, yeah, let's go back to my place and relax, have a nightcap and see where it takes us. So we drive back to my spot. And so light the candles, get the music going, open up a bottle of champagne and we sitting there and we having a nice vibe. And, um, you know, we start getting into it and everything and clothes start to come off. And she wanted to give me a little show. So she was like, just stand right there. And so, like, she took off everything very seductively and got on my bed and started twerking that thing, right? And I was like, what the hell? Because at this point, she got nothing on. And I smelled the smell, and it hits my nose. Shit was like a, a salt of my nose. I'm like, what the hell? And so I'm like, uh... Baby, uh, not to be rude, but I know we had a long day. Um, you're not smelling that fresh down there. I think you guys, I think you need to get into the shower and uh, go ahead and uh, freshen up. And she looked at me so embarrassed. I did it as gently as I could. But what I realized is if someone has had a normal size behind for all of their life and then they switch up. And now they got this big BBL. They they have to reach back there and really clean. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not used to doing that, they might not know that, hey, you sweat differently. Everything is different when you add that much more meat back there. That thing can't breathe as good. And uh, <laughs> so she ended up getting in the shower and everything. I had everything that she needed. And uh, I ended up clapping them cheeks. And it was much better. But some people, the smell, I think her smell was coming from just not being able to get back there and clean properly. But some people's smell is coming from what the excretions and what's coming out with the fat that they've actually put in to their bodies. Bro, that is wild. So I'm gonna stop making a little few comments, man. So you tell me, Man, you got a lot of real estate back there, uh, or unreal estate, whatever you want to call it, man. If you ain't properly white, yeah, it's probably some adjustment period, man. But as grown as women and grown as adults, we should know 
how to wipe your ass. Like, hands down, bro. Small ass, little ass, medium ass. You should know how to go back and forth and clean that ass, bro. Take a shower, do whatever you need. Man wipes, do wipes, baby wipes, whatever they got out there. There's plenty of things that you can do to keep up with personal hygiene, bro. We can't just blame it on the BBL, even though I get the point. All right, I get the point. And second of all, guys, I'm pretty sure they warn y'all about all these juices and all these other secretions that y'all are putting back there, man. It's, it's not normal already, all right? BBLs aren't normal. You're really just relocating fat from your midsection and other areas of your body and putting behind in your butt, all right? It's, someone, some people say it's not safe, all right? So when you go to working out, running, walking, going throughout your, your, your day, that stuff's starting to leak out like supposed to be normal sweat, but it's not normal because it's not in a normal spot, right? Your body's not rejecting it, but it's just not in a normal spot. So when, yeah, man, you trying to get intimate with your partner, your, your, your partner's down there smelling armpit fat, you know, but that shit is re relocated to your ass area. So I totally get it. As someone who's Dominican, I'm going to explain the BBL smell. So everybody has just started talking about this. But honestly, the smell doesn't come from the butt or from the vag. The smell comes from the fat excretions that are coming out. So when women have liposuctions and BBLs, about three weeks later all the way up to three weeks later they have excretions actually grease that comes out of their body and it has a putrid smell that's one of the main reasons why i just stay the way that i am and just try to work out and do the best because you got to be really brave to get a bbl or any type of liposuction surgery so the bbl smell is not because of women's ph balance it's not because they don't shower it's simply because it's fat excretions that are still coming out weeks after the surgery is finally done so if you do smell an awkward smell around somebody that had a bbl it's because of the fat excretions and liquid coming out their body bro that's a lot of chances to take bro you're gonna walk around looking nasty what's the point of having a big old nice behind if you're just gonna stink with it what's the point so i just got an email tonight and baby let's get into it so a young man hit me up in my email he was like yo i need what, what you think about this so he gave me the back store on it he said you've been talking to this chick for a minute he says you've been trying to chill up, but she been acting real green. So let's get into it. He said, good morning, queen. She said, hey, GM, baby, real's red face. should never taste up my fucking ass, I think. Then she said, hey, GM, babe, if I, if a man tastes me that I want to talk to, baby, mom say, hey, good morning, love, with a heart, baby. That's what I would do. So he said, what are your plans for today? She said, just working today. He was like, want to grab lunch today or hang out when you get off? I let you know. You should never have text her, babe. What you text her back for? She's not interesting. Don't make, don't, don't insert yourself in situations you don't need to need, you don't need to be in. I'm telling you, if somebody wants to talk to you, you gon' know and you won't even know when to text them they should that this motherfucker won't talk to you. So, he sent the message. And he unsent it. So he unsent something. I emailed him. But I'm like, what did you what did you see? And he was like, he made a mistake on the other one or some piece. I don't know. But anyway, you could tell you, look, they message early that morning. Look, man, let's be honest, man. Bro was just trying to probably just trying to smash. But anyway, look, when that blue start out when the, the resp response, when you get more blue. You get what I'm saying? When you're your outbox look at this dude's lens bro all that stuff is way bigger she was getting you getting two word responses three words it's super short bro it's game over dog she not into you man move the hell on so i understand people you know men try to take their shot but you got to read the signs of my guy she just really not interested dog she was really really interested with you she would have been like yeah let's go let's go hands down dog and she on the fence about you, dog. She's just stringing you along, keeping you in a friend zone. She really don't like you. She don't know how to say it, bro. You just didn't, you just not risen enough, bro. Let's be honest. I lose y'all, man, listening to a bitch that don't even got no man. Misery love company. Now y'all both crying and ugly. I me, mean, I hate to hear a woman, you know, how about I die for my baby. No, how I, I jump in front of a bullet for my baby, but you won't stay with the dad for the baby. You know the statistics of. A, a, a child growing up in a single household. So, but what you do? You break up with the daddy for cheating because he hurt your feelings. 
he ain't not love you. He just went and got some 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 pussy to go. And you break up with him and you destroy your child life because of your motherfucking fragile ass ego. Stop being selfish, women. Okay. All right. So you feel like if a woman gets cheated on and she want to leave, that's being selfish? It's definitely if, if a child is in place, she get cheated on and leave, yes, she is being selfish. Ah, what do you guys think, guys? What do you guys think? Is it selfish? Or would it be selfish if a woman go out and cheat and she gets some dick on the go, all right? And the child is in place. What is it like? Let's just be honest. I, you know, hmm, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, guys. Y'all leave in the comment. Who's more selfish? Men in this situation when a child is involved. Women in this situation when a child is involved. Who's more selfish if they cheat? Let's just keep it real. Guys, um, I just want to let y'all know that uh, if you guys are my friends, um, I can't go out with you guys no more. I can't be friends with you guys no more. I, I'm, I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop going out. I'm going to stop doing everything. Um, I'm going to delete my social media. Uh, I'm going to do, do all that. Uh, this is a personal decision that I made. No, nobody forced me to do it. Uh, it. It's all on me. It's just something that I decided for myself. I'm definitely done handing out my number for a while now because nothing is real life. Bro, I don't know if this is a so, period or not. A couple weeks ago, I just think my number it's right. It's funny. We text them. And now, like, we've been texting for a few days. And now we're just at the point where we're, you know, just getting to know each other. So we're asking questions that entail that, right? So he asked me, he like, hey, do you want more kids? And I was like, mm, no, not really. You know, I can't have any more anyways. I got my tubes removed. So boom, we moved past that. Then one day he, he hits me up and he's texting me, texting me, texting me. And I'm not responding fast enough because I was doing a lot of hair. So, you know, I text him back. I'm like, hey, I'm doing my daughter hair right now. But if you want to call me, you can. A few minutes later, he calls me. He's like, hey. And I was like, hey, what's up? <clears throat> he pauses. Don't say nothing. Then he was like, uh... Let me call you right back. And then immediately hangs up there. I don't even get the chance to say, okay, no problem. No, he just hangs up the phone, right? So I didn't, think, I didn't really think nothing of it. I'm just like, oh, all right, whatever. And, and then literally like a few minutes later after he hung up the phone, this nigga had the nerve to text me and was like, mind you, backstory. I gave him my number off of social media, right? So we've never talked on a phone before. This was our first interaction ever on the phone. It's always been just through text. So anyways, <clears throat> he texts me a few minutes later and he's like, hey, um, please don't take this the wrong way, but you was born a woman, right? <laughs> like, bitch, I know my motherfucking voice is deep, but it is nowhere near that fucking deep. You got me fucked up. And then when I told him, like, yes, I was born a woman. Like, I have a whole ass daughter. Man, you had the conversation of why I can't have any more kids. You know, I got my tubes removed. So why the fuck would you question whether or not I was born a woman just because my voice is a little bit deeper than yours? Like well, that's because, man, that's a lot of flags, bro. Dude got worried. Dude legit worried. You got to be careful these days, man. There's a lot of, you know, medical technology out here these days. And dude barely knew you. He got your number off social media. Let's just be honest. The roots wasn't favorable at all anyway, bro. And yes, he had every, out of every, all fairness. Don't take this, you know, to be rude. He even warned you. Like, yo, like, let's keep keep it real with me. Boom. Like, dog, you can't be mad. You can't be mad at that man because if you wanted to ask that man something about anything that was going on with him stuff it wouldn't be rude bro y'all in the beginning stages of trying to figure out what's going on and he answered the phone he catch you off guard and you busy you like yeah 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 <laughs> and you can't have kids that's yeah bro that kind of that does kind of a little that sound a little weird i would have probably been a little bit worried myself